Hi, this is Bill with Machinery Consultants. We're out in Salt Lake City, Utah. We'd like to thank you for your time to preview this inspection video on an absolutely amazing Kearney and Trekker model 315 S15 vertical milling machine. What we'd like to show you here is how well the digital readout turned out. It's a four axis new all DP1200. We're gonna show you the uh, scales, the way that they're set up how the feeds and the speeds and the RPM sound. We're currently running at 38 RPM. This machine's set up to run from 25 to 2,000 RPM. So let's call this what, guys? A, a follow-up inspection video just showing the, the installation of how this all turned out on your... Yeah. Can you hold that right there, Jer? Okay, perfect. So coming in. Ferrosin right here. This happens to be a 40 inch Ferrosin rod on the table left and right. So that's your knee up and down. Your Microsyn, thank you, sir, clear. Your Microsyn 10 is mounted up here. Boy, that turned out great, Frank. It's the Microsyn 10 rod scale assembly. Again, that's the little bit smaller diameter and the three quarter inch diameter uh, Ferrosin. That one's labeled. Why we're here on the Microsyn 10. That one's labeled for W axis. So that being said, for your fourth axis, on your vertical up and down, that's going to be labeled for your for your W here. Okay, moving on, we'd like to show the cross. Here's the front of your cross light skill. Back side of your cross light skill. Looking good, guys. Two minutes in. Uh, just a lot of a lot of extra detail went into this this installation, making sure everything was clean and crisp, and a lot of thought into uh, the way that the cables, four-axis analog, set up on the back of the DP1200 display. Let me finish the walk around, Frank. All right, coming back to the front. So all four axes set up at five tenths resolution. Table. Moving to the right. Cross. Okay, we have the cross coming inwards. Hold that for one second. It's towards the column. Clear, bro. I love how you do that. Vertical knee. Okay, here's the vertical knee. Down. So we're running the rapid. Clear. Coming up. Now additionally, we'd like to point out the fact that this is, see how this is rotating currently. This is your knee, your knee crank for your up and down. And this machine is also set up with what we call side controls. And again, this was shown in the original video. We wanted to put emphasis on how everything turned out with the engineering. The spacing. Okay, four and a half minutes in. Okay, coming down. Very smooth machine. So smooth. Okay, pointing out again the uh, the number 50 taper, NST or number 50 NMTB. We prefer to call it number 50 NST. We point out these dials while we're here. I just can't quit looking at them, how wonderful they turned out. Just stunning. Okay. Okay, going back to the number 50 taper. So we're set up currently with a smattering of some available tool holders here. We have some number 50 NST end mill holders, as well as number 50 NST what you would call a collet chuck holder. So let's say for an example, we have a certain collet chuck holder that has a smattering of, uh, what is it, nine, nine additional holders with it. So uh, our goal is to show off what we have here. Let's start first of all with the, with the quick switch. That's set up with the little collar there in the spring. Oh, that's beautiful, mm -hmm. thank you, sir. That's a number 50, uh, number 50 on the master there. And that one's five seconds out, Jerry. And that one's set up to hold 
this, this, with the drill check, this, 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 your Morse taper shank, and then as well as the fact that it has the keyless here. You count it off. Oh, thank you, bro. Face mail cutter, and a secondary face mail cutter. So around nine in total. Go ahead, Jerry, to your right. Okay, this one here happens to be a Weldon QA50, beautiful. So I set up to drop in. So what we see here is the number 50 on the master. And then we have a call that's coming in and out. Beautiful. All right, let's show them all the calls to go with that. I think there was a 369. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this is a nice little face mill here. Hold that up for one sec, Frank, will you? Give your flashlight handy. In the dark over here. Anyway, so we can come back to uh, any of this tooling. We can send individual photos. Gorgeous, thank you, bro, gorgeous. Uh, moving on, we have several of the fly mill uh, holders, shell mill holders, uh, in three or four different sizes here. Here's one set up. Here's another one set up. Drill chuck, number number 50 to number four Morse taper. This happens to be a number four Morse taper to JT33 on an eight to three quarter inch key drill chuck. Information on the can of metal available as needed on a six and a half inch face mill. Here's a Z style and a ZZ style in the call it chuck holder. We can send over individual folders on uh, photos on that as well as needed. The uh, phase two vise in the eight inch and the six inch, as well as your standard Kurt vise, the newer style crossover and the TMX bison. The original owner's manual will of course come with the machine. Okay. So on behalf of Machinery Consultants, we'd like to thank you for your time to uh, preview this video. Our intent was to show off how well it turned out, focusing in on the new all DP1200 display, freshly installed. Well, if there's anything else we can let us, uh, help with, let us know. We're here at 801-531-9500. This is Machinery Consultants in Utah at www.machineryconsultants.com. Thanks again. Have a great day. Peace.